Hey, welcome back to my Rogue Tech campaign. So, we are sitting at Krimari now, which in the last episode we flipped back to the Magistry of Can Canopus. These guys uh, owned the planet originally, and Free, Free Worlds League had uh, taken it in one of the past wars, but now we flipped it back. So, we're going to go to the Command Center today while we wait for our Medium Lance to get up and running. We want to generate some more cash, so we're going to go to Contracts here. And we're going to take a 5 Sculler today. We're going to go with Heavy Lure. For the Magistrate of Canopus. It's going to be against the local government, which I'm okay with. So um, basically it's a uh, just tracking extremely heavy mech with local government heraldry, engaging it and set, intercepting the forces and destroying them, which is, you know, kind of what we do. So we're going to take a, it's just a simple battle. So um, I'm thinking, uh, you know, I'd like to go this route, but because it's five skull, it's like really a bad idea. So we're going to go this route. I think that should probably be enough to cover my um, any damages that I take and um, get us some good salvage in the end. So let's accept this. So we're still looking for some good parts. Uh, we need some stuff for our light lance once we bring them forward. And um, yeah, so let's just deploy and um, yeah, it looks like we need more firepower, but we're fine. Let's go. All right, here we go. Hostile contacts right away. All right, so let's have a look around. We got two assault mechs, 180 tons. This is where the guy is. We're gonna go after. I'm hoping it's just the two, um, the main guy here plus the reinforcements. Um, but let's just do this. I want to get up and out of the way of that reinforcements. We're going to go after this main guy first. 95 tonner. Okay. Banshee, Cyclops, something along that line. Probably get our heavy guys up here. And let's get our speedy boys up. So we're going to hit this 95 tonner hard. Like really hard try and take them out as fast as we possibly can and then we'll decide if we just want well I want to kill everybody I was gonna say we could decide whether we want to take on these reinforcements but I'm thinking that's what we want to do so lots of sensor locking going on somebody's got missiles probably a stalker looks like a lot of missiles couple of LRM-15s probably. Here comes this guy. Not a lot of speed. So he's got missiles as well. How many? Looks like 10. Okay. So once again, we're actually we're going to reserve. I think they're all heavy in assaults. So let's get height since he can move the fastest. Gonna get him going along this way. All right, let's go. Get him going first. And then Vein Skater is the Forward. next fastest, so let's get him moving next. Generate as much evasion as we can now. So those two guys are doing well. What's up, boss? How much can I get with this guy? Acknowledge. I think four or five probably. Yeah, three's not bad. Could be a lot worse. Okay, let's get up here. So the reinforcement, yeah, they're moving first. Oh, how can, oh yeah, sensor lock, I forgot. So somebody's got... 80 tonner with a PPC, could be an awesome. Another PPC. Two misses, 100 tonner. Is it just the two? No, there's gotta be another guy back there. That's gotta be a stalker. Okay, so we should be able to engage this 95 tonner next turn. Oh. Hmm, Goss rifle. He did connect with that. That's 77 damage. 
Okay, you split fire all you want, buddy. I'm happy with that. What I'm not happy with, though, is the sensor locking. SRM4. Could be a Banshee. Find out in a minute. Okay, we're gonna reserve. Hype. Hey, Let's get eyes on, please. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. Executioner. Two large clan lasers. Excellent. Goss clan rifle. LRM10 gloss. So lots of nice stuff. Let's make this guy wish he didn't show up here today. If you're not going to move very far, we're going to take advantage of that, buddy. I don't care how much armor you have and how tough you think you are. You are going to get punished. Alright, everything on this guy. Good chances to hit. That's enough to destabilize him. And flatliner. What's your... Okay, you're still okay. You can run. Sprint up here. And let's put his ass on the ground. Put his asteroid on the ground. Actually, you know what? We don't have any offensive push yet. Damn. I was going to go for a headshot. So he's going down. Three or four. Should we burrow through the side here? 91 in the leg, two in the arm. Engine. Triple XL clan. So that should be enough. If we burrow through the side, he's done. Gonna sprint. There's only three evasion, but better than nothing. Gonna target the torso. Let's take this guy out. Arm, torso, goodbye. Game over. You bet, buddy. You bet. Ninety-five tonner. One more. I think that's eighty-five. Bet you that's the stalker. Bet you it's a stalker. What does that say? Does that say eighty-five? That says 85. That is a Staka. And that's probably an awesome. The multiple PPCs. So let's engage. We're going to reserve. Height's going to go first. Can we see, get any eyes on? We cannot. So let's end our turn in the woods here. With lots of evasion. Thank you. And a vein skater. I want to put you up behind here get you hidden so no direct fire we'll take the missile fire and then let's get flatliner here Double time. Let's go. we want to try and close the distance so we can see for direct fire next turn and the same thing but I want to end in the woods which I can't do here but I can here We've got range, so not that worried. We're going to pull back into here. I think that's a pretty good layout for when they arrive. I've been sensor locked. Yeah, I see that. Alright, I'm okay with that. He's probably saving heat this turn. Nope. Oh, yep, he is. So what was that? What mech was this? 100 tons. That's probably an Atlas. Ace pilot. In the 80 tonner. Damn it. Good shooting, buddy. I saw that. We need eyes on. We definitely need eyes on. You gotta be in the open for eyes on, don't you? Okay. 
Maybe they shoot you, I don't know. So what do we want to take on first here? Banshee, full armor, PPC, AC5, Asshat, all pirate shiz with AC20 devil, awesome, 4 ER PPC. So I'm thinking this is a, the buddy we want to take on first. So let's fire on him. Come on, man, you got a hit. I can't believe you missed with everything. You've got to be shitting me. That should have hit. That's what I just said. Okay, I know I'm taking a chance doing this. What's the chance to hit here? 38. 70. Well, let's target the Banshee. We didn't really hit the awesome anyway. Okay, Banshee it is. So we need you to be left-sided here. And everything on the Banshee. Okay, he's going down. Now we're going to go for CT on him. Yes, Commander. Let's get forward here. Wait, is this... That's not Woods there. Okay. Roger. Full speed. Okay, everything on the Banshee. We're going to go for CT. Actually, how much has he got left here? 39. Let's go CT. Should be able to get the torso regardless. No. Really. That hit something good. Guy's not having a good day, that's for sure. Down to 102. Almost got the torso. I've been sensor locked. Okay, as long as you're sensor locked and you're not shooting. Yeah, man, far away on height. He likes it when you shoot at him. Okay, I got hit by one. What's the ass hat doing? Oh, it's going all out. Yikes! Does he? It must have an ECM. XL engine, lots of exchangers. We can torso this guy and kill him, though. It's not a clan XL. Well, that's a lot of armor, though. So you got in the back. Full on the back, too, eh? Okay. Uh, let me think about this for a second here. Waiting. So we're going to Vigilance, or are we? I could just walk it. And they're going to target me again. Oh, what's the center torso down to? Not very much. Let's Vigilance. Can't not do that. We need to sprint. Uh, as far as we can go here. What's the chance to hit the awesome? Pretty damn low. Banshee we can probably take out. Let's try to move this sensor locking butt monkey off the table here. Copy that. Gotta get rid of this guy. Not enough for a knockdown. What are your orders, Skipper? It's alright. That's alright. Because we got another guy coming up here. And this should do it. Locking off with all weapons. Kill him or knock him down. Either one. Torso destroyed. So, Vanskater. 
That's pretty good chances with the Ultras. If we move fast enough, 64 and 80. Let's go after this awesome. I want to destabilize him a bit and make him a little worried. So let's fire everything on him. Okay. Not enough to destabilize him completely though. How do we do here? Torso hits. Nice. Yeah, he's getting really good with those uh, auto cannons here. So you need to move forward like this. Roger that. We're going to multi-target. I uh, want this awesome. And I want this guy. So the PPCs are going to B and everything else is going to A. Let's do that. Fire on multiple it should make him unstable. Yep. And then the PPC should kill this guy. Yep. Reporting enemy battle mech down. Okay, so there's their target guy gone. Yeah, I knew you were going to melee. I knew it. Good luck. Turning your back to someone with Ultra 20s or Ultra 10s is not a good idea. That's all I'm going to say. So I wonder how much armor this stalker's got. Okay, we'll accept that. Lot damage holding firm. So he's pretty good armor wise. Okay, as long as it's the side, I'm okay with that. This is back like like nothing on the back. Can we get Commander. we'll find out in a second here. I'm going to sprint over here. Maybe not there. Maybe not there. Move here. If we sprint here, can I turn even more? Yep. We want the awesome or the stalker? Let's reserve. And then let's move Flatliner. Let's get you in a little closer. And I want you on this awesome. He's still a little bit unstable. These PPCs should be enough to make him unstable completely. As long as you hit with at least one of them. What the hell, dude? Ugh. Really? That's a bad idea. Let's move back here. Not as many chevrons as I wanted, but we are in the woods. So we're going to fire on this awesome. Can we get him on the ground? Yes. And down he goes. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move the Orion. I was thinking about finishing him with this guy, with with uh, Vane Skater. We are going to move... We are going to do... We're just going to walk here. I'm going to target that awesome. I'm going to take the chance that they don't fire at me. And I want... Head? Let's go for head. we got tons of missiles, so why not? Oh, we got the torso. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. We had to make sure he was gone. Alright, so, Vane Skater. Can we get behind him? Can't see him from behind, though. Really? The other thing is we can shoot this uh, ass hat in the back. Maybe we should. PPC, PPZ, PPC ER, LRM. Yeah, let's shoot him in the back. Let's fire it. That should make him drop a load in his pants. That is something good. Okay. 
Okay. What about this stalker? You're going after my army. Okay, that was a miss. Thank you. How bad is the arm hurt? Down to 29. Well, at least it's not one like it was last time. All right, we're moving back over here. Actually, you know what? We're going to reserve. I want to see how we do against this uh, asshat first. We're going to move Vane Skater. I uh, wonder if we should... Let's go this route. If I can finish him, then we can hit the uh, Stalker in the back too with uh, Vane Skater. So let's put everything in the back of this guy. Okay, at least he's dropping a load in his pants. Alright, Vance Skater, we need to we need to get you in here. And you need to fire on this guy. Let's get rid of the ass hat. There we go. Goodbye, buddy. He's just taking a little bit of a dirt nap. Okay, so ground zero. Let's march it back over here, just turning our side torso enough to see this guy. And we're going to unload everything into this guy's side. So once again, if you go back and watch this episode from the beginning and look at the heat levels on all of our mechs, you'll notice that not once have we ever had to turn off any, any weapon system. And I'm really a big fan of making sure that all your weapons can be firing all the time so you don't have to turn anything off. That way when you go into battle you know that um, what your damage out could, output is going to be consistently. Now it'll be different on heat or uh, desert and Martian terrains, but having consistency of, of damage on output for me is more important than anything. Gyro destroyed. Goodbye. Okay, so that was pretty good overall. We got a couple internal structure hits. Mission successful. Okay, so now we've got the opportunity to get some clan gear. Now, 153,000, I think we're going to take more in damage than that. We've got two arms penetrated, some serious damage to a CT here. But overall, our lance performed fairly well. Um, you know, there was a few positioning um, issues, I think. With some of our mechs but overall i mean they had tons of sensor locking too which really helped them um but the other thing too is if they were continuously firing at us they may have done more damage okay lots of lots of parts here only one asset part but that's fine uh awesome parts banshee executioners and we're gonna pass all that we want to go down here uh clan er large is definitely a a, a must clan LRM 10, two and a half tons. I'm not going to pass that up. We might be able to use this on our light lance. Uh, what else do we have? Clan SRM 6, one and a half ton. Clan SRM 4, one ton. Um, possibilities. What else do we got? Clan Pharaoh. Cockpit plus one morale. And injury resist. TC cockpits we have enough of. Exchangers. Jeez, look at that. What else have we got down here? Clan double heat sinks. Clan endo steel plus three TTS energy. We're gonna definitely take that. Um, do we want the? I think I don't know. We've already got clan ERs. I'm thinking the clan endo steel is probably more important. We've been having some space issues on our mechs as we've been refitting them, and we definitely run endo steel on all of our mechs more so than we do with ferrofibrous. This LRM-10, I think, is going to be versatile for some of our lighter builds. With some dead fire in ammo in there, that's potential for 60 damage for 2.5 tons, which is pretty good. Well, 3.5 tons, once you add the ammo in, which is pretty good. Clan Mask. Sprint and walk distance, heat generated, instability when destroyed. Well, exchangers are really nice, but I think we're okay for now. I think I actually got one still lying around somewhere. Unless I used it. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go this route. That clan LRM-10 is really iffy, but I'm, I'm thinking that's probably the better route to go. 
So we got an awesome part, Banshee part, couple of Executioner parts, AC5. We did get the Clan Large Laser after all, which is excellent. Uh, two ER PPCs, which, is, which are good. Uh, combat Shield, large Combat Shield, nice. And we did get an Exchanger. <laughs> That's incredible. Cool, 29 million in uh, claim salvage value. Oh, okay, well that's a lot less in damages than I thought it was going to be. So we did make a little bit of cash on this. Not much, but a little bit. And 14 days for repairs isn't too bad either. So we're sitting with enough cash to be able to easily get past this uh, financial report, which is good. Um, so our main guys have been pushed back in repairs. The Orion is, you know, a fair bit of ways, but that's okay. Um, we did pick up some quality equipment though, which is awesome. So when we go to refit some of our mechs, we'll have some good gear to drop in. But um, for now, let's. Oh, it looks like we've actually become friendly with the Magistrate of Cannabis now. So that's good. We're going to get 10% uh, bonus payment for contracts and 5% discount in shops, which is awesome. So let's just move past the financial report here. Um, Outworlds versus Karita. They took 48 systems in the war. Holy crap. Circanus versus Marek. Hegemonia and Lothian. These guys are fighting like every single month. Every month. Oberon versus Steiner. And this was a huge one. All right. Okay. So, I mean, normally I wouldn't pick up pilots this early. Uh, but in the case of the pilots that we've picked up, the reason why I'm doing that, and I'll show you here in a second, is that, uh, uh oh Whoa. Uh -oh. Blurring clack-ons interrupt an otherwise quiet morning routine as several fast-moving ships appear, pacing the Argo. Darius broadcasts their hail to the bridge. You're flying through our space, strangers. It's awfully dangerous out here. Just awful, especially for a ragged-looking ship like... The Argo, is it? Tell you what, we, we provide you with safe passage, for a price, of course. While you consider their options, Sumeri pipes up. Commander, if you can buy me some time, I could do a rapid fire up of the leper that'll teach them not to mess with us. Well, of course, we're not going to pay them off. Oh, Haidt is suffering a two times injury. The frustrated pirate tries to walk you through the money transfer one more time. No, the last account number is zero, not the letter O. It never has the letter O. Just then, the leopard leaps free from his docking collar on the side of the Argo and fires a barrage of LRMs at the pirate ships. The pirates retaliate with laser blasts, and the whole ship groans as an emergency s systems activate. After another flash of light from the leopard, the enemy captain gives the order to retreat. Unfortunately, it's too late for Height, who was caught in the wrong side of a blast or ends up in the medbay. Oh well. But you know what? We're going to have to track these guys down. We did it once with Jasper. We'll do it again with, with these guys. If they think they can get away, we got KF drives to show them that they can't get away. We're going to track these guys down. So Heights out for the entire rest of this month. So it looks like we're going to have to um, step things up a bit. We can't have the next Lance back in, in uh, service. So we're going to have to do a mixed Lance mission, I think, coming up. Let's get that Orion back. And the Hunchback, why not? Come on. There we go. So the Black Knight's left out. So we probably can do a mixed lands mission um, the next time we come back. And yeah, so we'll have to leave it there for today. Actually, oh yeah, so I was, as I was saying, the reason why I was hiring the Mech Warriors early, if you get them early and they're really good priced, because right now we've got um, two of our training modules up and running, just having them sit on the ship is generating an awful lot of experience, free experience for them. So while we're paying them early, the other thing we're doing is we're generating a lot of um, XP for them. So they'll be ranked up by the time we get that light lance going, they'll be half decent pilots. So that's the reason sort of that I did that. And let's just quickly, we did her, let's quickly do, I forgot to do Puff in here, we need to get him a uniform. So let's do that. And we just do camera this way, lighting this way, and we make sure he's got the right clothing. And that's all we need to do, and save. Yes, Commander. All right, there we go. Now he's got himself a uniform. Cool. 
So that's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you liked it, please feel free to leave a like. And if you haven't watched before and you liked the episode, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later.